What's up, family? Welcome back to Tommy Vice TV Homestead, y'all. I know we've heard about Bank of America, Wells Fargo, USAA, even PNC closing people's accounts. Well, they're not the only ones doing some strange things with your change. So this happened over in the UK and it is major, is one of their largest banks. UK banks were given two weeks to explain closing of customers' accounts. Apparently, they closed um, more than 20 of the largest lenders at the Nigel Farge's uh, accounts were threatened with closure. Now, they got to answer why. City regulators will give UK largest banks two weeks to explain why they have been shutting customers' accounts after a scandal linked to threaten closure of Nigel Farage's bank accounts. And I hope I'm saying that right. The Financial Conduct Authority, FCA, will write to more than 20 of the UK's largest lenders on Wednesday, asking them to confirm how many customers have been recently closed with their accounts, suspended or denied, and explain the reasons why those services have been blocked. Again, they only have two weeks to gather all of this information, the data that they need, which will cover personal and business customers, including political parties. So apparently, there's an investigation into whether lenders have been debanking customers over their lawfully held political beliefs. So apparently, if you believe one thing, they're going in and they're shutting your account down. Lenders will also have to um, reveal how many complaints they have been fielding since the barring of customers. Banks will have to submit their responses to the FCA by August 25th. The FCA is expected to publish its analysis by mid-September. A Treasury spokesperson welcomed the move and said ministers would determine whether further action was needed once the results were published. So you're, 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 you're punishing people off of their beliefs that is so against the law i don't care where you live what you do what you believe you don't have a right to say hey we're going to close your account because you're with this party or you're with that and party. this is just not a brick and mortar situation okay so it says that the matter gained further traction at the digital bank. Monzo closed the account for the political party run by anti-Brexit campaigner Gina Miller. Monzo said it was a matter of policy since it does not accept any political parties. The lender said that the account was open erroneously as it was not categorized appropriately in the application. So they're trying to say that she was hiding what what she was using that money for and see they that's the real thing let's let's just get to the t of it they want to know what you're using that money for that's why they clock in every single dime and penny and nickel and quarter and dollar that you use that is why you have to file certain tax things while everybody's excited for the fed now and money moving faster than ever before what they really want to know is how much you're moving where you moving it to, what you doing with it, what you buying, where you going, who you giving it to. They want to know every single detail. Yet we don't know exactly what they're doing with their money. So let me know what you think down in the comments. I thought this was a um, pretty decent story right here. You know, something that's happening overseas, but does happen here also and has happened and still happens. Okay. People discriminate upon you, upon your race, upon your gender, whatever they discriminate on you. If, if you are a person and you want to be a mermaid, they're going to discriminate on you on that also. So you can get it, you can get it and you can get it. Hit the like button. Comment below, share the video out, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. I love you, but God loves you more. He created the only one you. Be the best you that you can be. And when you are, go out and spread God's love because God is love. Peace, love, and light. Thanks for being here on Tommy Bites TV Homestead.